poofy because I've just come out of the shower. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you very much for clicking on the video. This is going to be a full week of eating, but just a few tiny little disclaimers before we get going. This is not saying you should eat this way, this is just how I'm eating, but also completely different, so we have different energy requirements anyway. This is just for a little bit of foodie inspiration if you're feeling stuck in a rut and you don't know what to have. And as always, if you ever want to make anything from the video, the recipes are on my Instagram. <laughs> so you can follow me over there and tag me in your stories if you ever make something. That'd be fun, we can have a good time. And I just want to say, don't feel like you have to do a massive diet or lifestyle overhaul just because it's the new year. If it feels good to you, just do it. If you enjoy what you eat, how you live, you know, just carry on living your life exactly how you were. And one more thing, if you could do me a favor and just like the video and subscribe to the channel, I'm begging you. No, I mean, obviously you don't have to, but it would make me very happy. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Happy 2021 and I'll see you in a bit, bye. I'm gonna make sweet potato pancakes. I've definitely made them before on here. Plain and simple, it's sweet potato and an egg. So I'm gonna roast this off in the microwave. In the meantime, I'm gonna chop up some mushrooms, obviously. Scoop out the inside. I'm just gonna add some garlic to the mushrooms. And then our old friend, balsamic vinegar. So added a little bit of baking powder. You don't have to. One of my faves. Absolutely one of my faves. I'm gonna have a little coffee. I use a can of coffee. It's got added CBD in it, but it's so smooth, so creamy. I love it. make some roasted red pepper pasta and I'm just gonna put this in the air fryer till it's nice and blistered with a clove of garlic. So now I just take off the skin. I'm just gonna use half the red pepper, the roasted garlic, it's nice and sweet. Much more mild as well. And then to make it creamy I add about a third of a block of silken tofu and then I normally add tomato passata but I only have chopped tomatoes at the moment but it works just as fine. Oregano, sweet paprika. I'm just gonna use some whole grain penne. Add a little bit of pasta water and blend. Yeah, that's good. I can't have pasta without olives. I simply can't. Roasted red pepper pasta. Yes, please, and thank you. Since soup season began, I've probably made this one the most out of any. So it's a pea and basil soup. It's the easiest thing in the world. Basically just onions, spices, stock. I'm just using this dried stock, peas, potatoes to thicken, and then basil. Yeah, that is it, I think. Garlic. Marmite for some umami flavor. And just before I blend it is when I start adding in all the extras. So I'm gonna add this moringa powder, just because I have it. Honestly, you could just add spinach. Completely unnecessary. Another little fun add-in is some hemp butter. It's green, so it's kind of fitting. It also makes it really creamy. And then the basil. You know it's good when it's that green. Pea soup and a big slab of sourdough. Good morning. I think today is a waffle kind of day, like a chocolate waffle. I don't know. I'm feeling chocolate. <laughs> Flour chocolate and anything to bind it like an egg or an egg replacer, flax, chia, whatever. These are ace though. A bit of baking powder, milk, eyeballing how much milk, syrup, only a little bit. That'll do. And a mini one. Some raspberries, cacao nibs, some walnuts, and just because I'm feeling in the mood, maybe a little bit of powdered sugar. These are my festive looking chocolate waffles. I've been really into these tuna fish cakes recently. They're just so easy. Always going in with a blob of mustard, spring onion, capers. Using the egg replacer again. I'm telling you, it's really good. 
and then I like to bind it with almond flour because almond flour it's less stodgy than the other flours so it makes these nice and light. And then just shape them and fry. A little bit of apple can't hurt. And of course a little bit of kraut. Honestly so easy, ready in less than 10 minutes. Tuna fish cakes with some guac, a bit of yogurt and sauerkraut. I'm just gonna make some miso soup, I think, just because it takes five minutes, maybe. Using this paste, just a tiny bit of that. And then using these rice noodles, sesame seeds. I'm gonna sprinkle on some crispy edamame for a little bit of crunch. Lovely warming miso soup with rice noodles and edamame. I'm craving another salty breakfast, so it's gonna be like a potato hash. I'm just gonna chop some potatoes, fry them in the air fryer, and see what happens. I think I'm gonna soft boil two eggs, so five and a half minutes in boiling water, and then you run it under cold water. Ooh, it feels a bit squishy. I use it anyway. After using Frank's hot sauce for the longest time, I've finally been reunited with Cholula, which honestly, I couldn't be more happy about. There we are, two soft boiled eggs, some crispy potatoes, and then some salady bits on the side. Now the key to a good cracker, I'll let you in on a little secret here, is just lots and lots of salt. Bland crackers haunt me in my sleep. Ta-da! Perfect. My milk really didn't froth very well, but you get the picture, I'm having a matcha. I'm gonna make a quick chickpea salad, just mix together chickpeas, avo, yogurt, muta, a bit of lemon, a sprinkle of garlic, and then just mash it with a back of fork till it's nice and mushy. And I'm gonna have some of the crackers that I made earlier. They are delish. I already ate loads of the offcuts, but you know, I love a cracker. Just have the chickpea salad. This is quite a summery meal, isn't it? I'm manifesting. Just chicky salad with some crackers and kraut. Obviously, obviously kraut. And honestly, this combo, too good. You know when you're at the bottom of your jar of nut butter and you just got the clumpy bit? That is my snack. This is almond, hazelnut, and cinnamon, by the way. Mmm. I don't eat a lot of fruit, so I'm gonna have an apple. I'm gonna make a swede and parsnip mash. Stewed lentils on the side. I don't know, I really don't know. I'm just having a roll of chocolate while I wait for everything to cook. That is what you call impatience. Yeah, you know. I just take about a tablespoon of flour to thicken it. Big splodge of yogurt. Mash, this is so nice. I know it doesn't really go, but I'm gonna add some tahini. Creamy root vegetable mash with some stewed lentils. It's good, whatever it is. I'm gonna do a little mug cake situation today. So, oat flour, coconut flour. I just like the texture that it gives when you mix the two flours. I just think it's so much fluffier. I'm adding cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg. I'm just making a quick flax egg, flax seed, and then water. Add the egg, two to three tablespoons of plant milk, probably, not sure. Baking powder as well. You see that smells exactly like gingerbread? That's wild. Do you know? Get your tail out. So a quick little gingerbread milk cake for breakfast. Lush, simply lush. I am going to make a falafel sandwich. You want to make sure the oil's already hot when you fry them. You can bake them of course, but obviously they're going to taste nice and fried. That's just the way the world works. <laughs> and just fry until golden brown. I had some leftover pasta sauce that I used the other day and I think if I mix that with tahini that would make a really nice dressing. Here she is, the finished masterpiece. It's just a falafel sami in some toasted sourdough. 
I'm basically making a curry paste. So I'm just adding onion, a few blobs of tomato paste. And one of my favorite things to add to a curry paste, stay with me here, is a blob of cashew butter, big old blob. It just makes it super creamy. You can add almond butter as well, that'd be really nice. And I've just seasoned that with salt and pepper and it's beautiful. I'm just gonna cook out some of the curry paste. A bit of coconut milk. Lentil and cauliflower curry with fluffy basmati rice. Yum! So we are leaving the house quite early this morning to make an appointment and then we're gonna go and do the food shop. So, so I'm just gonna take a few of these yogurt bars on the go and call that breakfast. I think I'll have about three. They're a decent size. So I will see you next time I have something to eat, which will probably be as soon as I get back. <laughs> so something like, you, you raise example. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end up having all of these, honestly. <laughs> A little bit of cold brew, just what the doctor ordered. That's so good. At this point, I should probably just apologize for making these buckwheat wraps so often, but it's because I have them all the time. A tiny pinch of flaxseed, no more than half a teaspoon, because otherwise it goes a bit globby. Official term, globby. And then double the amount of water. Tofu scramble using silken tofu. I'm never going back to firm. Well, I might. Don't quote me on that. Avocado. Some leaves down first. An absolute must with tofu scramble. Buckwheat tortilla, avocado, tofu scramble. I would normally have this for breakfast, but you know, sometimes the craving hits at lunchtime. So here we are. I'm feeling very lazy. I'm just gonna do a stuffed sweet potato for my dinner. Also, there's gonna be an announcement in the UK at eight o'clock and I feel like it's gonna be a lockdown. This is gonna be a very comforting meal for me. Potato. Mm -hmm. Stuffed sweet potato with some black beans and veg.